Hi, my name is Star Bradbury, and today I'd like to give you some important tips about how you can tell if your parents need more help. Here are some basic red flags to look for. Number one, have you noticed mom or dad becoming less attentive to their personal appearance, their hygiene, or housekeeping? Number two, is mom or dad missing appointments or social events that they used to attend? Number three, is mail piling up, bills going unpaid? Number four, have you noticed a sudden change in behavior or personality? Number five, is mom or dad having difficulty planning, organizing, or doing familiar tasks? Number six, does your loved one seem anxious or depressed or agitated? Number seven, are they eating less, losing weight, or seem reluctant to shop or cook meals? Number eight, are they getting disoriented or confused or worse yet lost while driving? All of these are genuine signs for you to be concerned. Begin a conversation with your loved one about finding some help for them. Many things can cause these changes, so please don't assume this is the beginning of dementia. Seniors show these types of symptoms due to so many reasons. Could be depression, it could be anxiety. If they have lost a spouse or a close family member, or recently been ill or in the hospital, they may be struggling. If they feel they're losing their independence or experiencing any loss of memory, then this too can be reasons for changes in behavior. But one of the primary reasons seniors end up in the hospital is mismanaging their medications. So this could be the problem as well. But don't ignore these signs. See if any other family members, neighbors, or friends are noticing these changes. Sit down with your mom, dad, or loved one and tell them you are worried and concerned. Suggest it is time to check with their doctor and get a full and complete evaluation. And if you can go with them, all the better. They may be reluctant or afraid, so don't be surprised if this happens. They may also be resistant to accepting any help, like my parents were. But here's the key for success. Once they realize that allowing someone into their home will help them stay in their home longer and maintain their independence longer, and they'll feel safer, then they'll welcome the help. Arranging for help two or three times a week for a few hours could make a huge difference. So typically, look for a local home care company that can provide basic assistance with personal care, dressing, bathing, cooking, meal preparation, light housekeeping, and sometimes transportation. As a certified aging life care specialist, I have helped hundreds of families choose exactly the right care for every situation, and I can help you too. I know the right questions to ask about staffing, licensing, costs, contracts, and I know how to tell who is the right company for you to hire that will provide the care you need. If you are looking for safety, quality of life and peace of mind, then let's talk. Just click the link on the screen below to set up a time that works for you.